Mr. Secretary, thank you for joining us. Yeah. You know, we got the word before tonight's debate uh, from a reporter that you were going to go on the attack against Biden. It was all telegraphed by somebody. How'd that happen? Uh, we well, know about that, that uh, you're going after the, Biden. There wasn't going to be an attack necessarily on Biden. No, uh, it, it was, was going particular to be to... that you were going after Biden. One of our top reporters said to us on air at 7 o'clock tonight that you're coming in here tonight to go after Biden. Yeah, well, then that reporter had it wrong. Uh, they got it what, right. What I, well, but I didn't telegraph that before. What I did want to do was make clear the distinction on health care policy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, what I pointed out tonight was that last time we were on the debate stage in Detroit, Senator Harris told Vice President Biden that his plan would leave 10 million people uncovered. Right. And he said, no, it wouldn't. Well, the media, the fact checkers did their job and they said, actually, yes, his plan would leave 10 million people uncovered. So I pointed that out tonight and, uh, yeah. But inaccurately. No, no, no. No, no, because Biden came back and said that he had, in fact, said they would pay for people that couldn't afford it. No, and no, you no, Chris. And choose, well, we could go through all the yeah, tapes. Yeah, no, if we go through the tapes, what he's going to say, well, you'll see that he no, says. No, I'm saying what he did say. No, no, what he did say was he said uh, that if you lose your job, that you would, you could, you would automatically buy in, you could automatically buy into his plan. This is significant, Chris. This is, this is the difference. When he says the words buy in, not everybody can buy in. No, not he everybody. said anyone who can't afford it no, gets no, no. automatically enrolled in the Medicare no. type if option. You, we have no. Anyone who can't afford it gets automatically enrolled in the Medicare. He didn't if, say you have to buy if you go it. This to is what he said before. If you go to a different section of his comments, you'll find that he said if you lose your job, then you can but automatically. But he did say it would, pay, it would pay for people no. that couldn't afford it. But he said the words buy in. That's significant because the fact checkers have said that's exactly why his plan is going to leave 10 million people All uncovered. Right. So when he said. So the you're words, glad you did this. Of course. When he said the words buy in, I said, look, you know, you just said the words buy in. He said, no, I didn't say buy in. I said, yes, you did. And when you get to your full transcript, you will see, in fact, he did say Most that. Most people thought there was another aspect to this, that you were suggesting a man of 76 years had lost the ability to remember what he just said. That was not. Short-term memory loss no, you were accusing him of. Not at all. It uh, wasn't we were, what you are doing because you rubbed, you rubbed it in three or four times. You kept saying you don't remember, you don't remember what you just we said. We had a disagreement about whether he said the words buy in. He did say the words buy in when you go and look at the full transcript. He you, said said, if you can't afford it, it can auto, you get automatically enrolled in the Medicare-type option. And then have. what did he say about losing your job? Well, he also said if you lose your job, you automatically can buy into buy it. Buy into but it. But the poor that's people right. that you were addressing are covered by what he said in that same paragraph. Not at all. Look, that's significant. This is important because this is about the most important policy okay. in our country. You know, these tapes leave. will be going, excuse me. Mr. Secretary, these tapes are going to be played over and over again. So hey, whatever look, we say here. Like we're, 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 we're here to debate health care policy. Yeah. This covers everybody. This, this affects everybody. So, look, whether... You believe he's deficient. Whether, whether No, well, I believe his health care plan is deficient. I respect Vice President Biden. I have tremendous respect yeah. for him. I think he's a great candidate. But let me tell you, when I get on that debate stage, whether it's in a primary or I get on that debate stage in October 2020 against Donald Trump, you better believe that I'm going to be there to prove my point. Right. And do you want somebody on that stage that is going to go and fight and prove their point and be able to beat Donald Trump? Because if you do, then I'm your Democrat. Uh, Anita Dunn, who's the media advisor to uh, the, the former vice president, said it was a cheap shot. Your reaction to that? Oh, I completely disagree. You know, of course, the media, uh, you know, I know Anita. I, you know, I have a lot of respect for her. She's also on his campaign. Of course. So, you know, it's not I don't surprising. deny that it's personal, but it's, uh, it's what I, she's saying. I, I, so your reaction yeah. is uh, not his, a cheap shot. His health care plan would leave 10 million people uncovered. My approach would cover everybody. Good Mr. to see Secretary, you. Secretary, thank, thank you. Big night here. Right. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.